Good evening and welcome to our inaugural 18 under 18 event. We are so very excited to introduce this program here on the Eastern Shore and you should all be so very proud of yourselves. We had so many amazing, bright, young people nominated, but you all were the final 18 from across the shore. We at Junior Achievement want to extend a warm welcome to all of the amazing winners and we know that we don't always get places without the support of our families, friends, mentors, and educators. So a big round of applause for all of you as well. And my name is Jamie Hayes. I am the president of Junior Achievement of the Eastern Shore. And for those of you who don't know who Junior Achievement is, we are a nonprofit organization that helps young people own their economic future. And we do that through financial education, workforce readiness, and entrepreneurship. We have tons of amazing programs on the Eastern Shore, our new 18 under 18, but we also have JA Inspire, our Leadership Academy, and our Stock Market Challenge as well as our Purdue Henson Junior Achievement Center. This is a $7.5 million facility here on the Eastern Shore, and many of these are in big cities all across the United States, Chicago, Baltimore, DC, San Diego. So we are very unique in the fact that we are a very rural community that houses what's one of the most amazing and high-tech facilities of its kind. So we're very proud of that. In this program, as you can see, students come and get to live as an adult for an entire day, do all the fun things like pay taxes and make financial decisions, you know, pay bills, all those fun things. Um, and we're very proud of everything that we've done here today and look forward to expanding it. But tonight is all about you. We want to celebrate your achievements with these 18 exceptional individuals nominated by community leaders from across the shore. These young leaders were nominated based on their exemplary contributions to their schools and their communities. Many attributes were considered, such as community involvement, leadership skills, and so much more. I know that you all had an opportunity to walk around and be amazed at all these amazing things that these kids are doing out in the community. Makes me feel lazy. And before we share our video, we want to make sure that we thank our gracious sponsors who partnered with us to honor all of your accomplishments and express our heartfelt gratitude to the Nathan Foundation, Hebron Savings Bank, Truist, Piedmont Airlines, iHeartMedia, and PAC14, which is recording this event this evening. Please take the time also to check out your fabulous award baskets filled with amazing goodies from all of our local businesses that also wanted to ce celebrate you as well. Now, to provide a deeper insight into our 18 honorees and their inspiring journeys, we have prepared a special video presentation highlighting each one of them. Thank you.
going into freshman year, my dad passed away. And um, I think seeing how my mom and sisters handled that was really important to me. Um, just seeing how they pushed through and took care of everyone around us, not only themselves, seeing how my mom was there for my family, but anyone else who knew my dad, his friends, his family, like it just meant a lot for me to see that. Um, and I think what makes them stand out is their grit, their drive, and just their willingness um, to be there. I believe that community involvement can largely contribute to personal growth and development. Not only does being involved in the community contribute to making good connections, it makes you feel better about yourself and be proud of the work that you're doing. A moment that ignited my passion or drive for something was the two boys on my street, Kate and Koa. They inspire me to not take everything so seriously. And it's important to me because there's so much anxiety and hate in this world. And sometimes we just need to let go. I always go up to their house and we always get muddy and everything. And it's really nice to just be able to go outside and play. One of the biggest issues in our community that I feel passionate about is online safety. Online safety is a big thing in the world right now because technology is a huge part of our lives. We have to ensure that future generations and our generation today is safe from online predators and threats. Eventually, I want to go into medicine, specifically ophthalmology, which is uh, basically eye surgery. But along the process, I never want to stop pushing for positive environmental change. I think being involved in the community can make you a better person. By volunteering with 4-H, I have developed leadership skills and I really enjoy helping others. I believe young people can make a positive impact in our area by performing community service, volunteering, and giving back. Participating in these events makes me feel good as I know I'm improving the lives of others. Some causes I am very passionate about are the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center, or Seabeck for short, and Rowan's Run. As a kid, I always enjoyed playing at Seabeck and participating in the summer camps where I learned and enjoyed nature. Three years ago, I started as a camp counselor at Seabeck and have enjoyed teaching all of the kids about nature. Rowan's Run is a charity 5K that supports Ruby's Rainbows, a charity that raises money for kids with Down syndrome who are seeking higher education. Over the past two years, I've gotten to know the people who organize Rowan's Run and have helped with the event by volunteering and running the 5K with my high school lacrosse team. So one thing that I'm really passionate about is spreading access to education within my community. And I first realized this when I was in biology freshman year and I got handed a worksheet that I had done in middle school and I had transferred to a new system for high school school system and it made me realize how much of a gap there is between education in different places and that kind of sparked my motivation um to do like my project steam and just everything else with education because I didn't really realize how much of an issue it was and that kind of allowed me to discover that which motivated me to do everything else. It is a great honor to be recognized as part of the inaugural 18 under 18 program. I'm hoping that my involvement may allow me to meet other young leaders in the community. Also, I'm hoping that I may be able to inspire others to become more involved in the community and to further refine their leadership skills. I am honored to be recognized as one of the 18 under 18 Junior Achievement esteemed students. The devotion I have to my passions in school and out of school have always been inspired by my positive attitude and the community's support. Having the community recognize my effort is rewarding because it inspires me to broaden my horizons and continue working hard towards my goals. I am immensely grateful to have this award and to be a valued member of this community. My success as a focused student and maturing young adult has paved a unique path, and I hope to inspire others who share uniqueness in their high aspirations and their individual path. As an 18 under 18 award recipient, I hope to inspire others to break their boundaries, give back, and stand up in the face of challenges. My mom always has and always will be my role model. She's always been there for me whenever I needed or wanted anything, even when she was sick. She always took care of my sister and I. She's the strongest person I know, and I will forever be grateful to be able to call her mom. 
How can people my age make a difference? Well, anybody can. It takes bravery, it takes courage, it takes finding your voice and just speaking out. And if you do that, you can make a difference anywhere. You have to find something you're passionate about, surround yourself by the right people, and just be a good leader. I am extremely honored and extremely proud of all of my achievements. At such a young age, I have learned the importance of spreading kindness wherever I go. Being recognized as one of the 18 under 18 to me tells me that what I'm doing now is right and that I should keep doing what I've been doing. It's always been encouraging hearing the appreciation of those I help and the good jobs from my peers for my achievements and being nominated for this for the ingrains that I should keep doing what I'm doing. The biggest way we can make an impact within our community is by getting involved. We're the next generation of change makers, leaders, and workers in the world, and it's important for us to continue to build our leadership experience so that as we grow older, we can continue to make this positive impact from our experience. So I'm fortunate enough to have several role models to look up to, and at the top of that list would be my parents, the people who raised me because like many parents, I've seen them go through countless obstacles, one after the other, but if there's one constant, it's their patience and gratitude, which is something I hope to emulate. And another person, or I guess set of people that I'm grateful for, are all of the awesome teachers and mentors who go the extra mile to support students like me, often without recognition but it's their selflessness that deserves our biggest round of applause. Thank you. So I know we just applauded, but my notes say, let's have another round of applause for our 18 winners. Well, good evening again to you. My name is Ricky Pollard, and it's my honor tonight to present the awards to our A-Team winners. But before I do, again, just on behalf of all of JA, we wanna recognize and congratulate all 18 of you. I know when you were watching some of your videos, some of you were covering your ears, covering your eyes. That's all right, I don't like watching myself either, but be proud of what you've done, of what you've done. And I think it was Justin who said it, you're excited to meet the other 18. Keep an eye on, you know, all of you, you know, this group right here can change the world. I think we have the 50th, 51st president, 52nd president, 53rd, right here in this room. If you, absolutely, if you all stick together, I promise you, you all will make a positive difference here in our community. So congratulations again to you. So now without further ado, I would like to present our 2024 18 under 18 winners. What you're gonna do is when I call your name, you're gonna come down here, come over here, get your award, then you're gonna go get your photo taken, and then at the end, we're gonna take one big group photo. Sound all right? All right, and feel free to you know make some noise when we call your, uh, your award recipient. All right, first we have Jasmine Armstrong. Tyler Bear. Elizabeth Batiste. <laughs> Petra Bergman. <laughs> Sid Ghosh. <laughs> Caroline Holloway. Daniel Holloway. Uh, Deborah Laguiri is not here tonight. She's participating in an invitational track event, but we wanna give her a big round of applause for all her hard work. All right, Brianna Legg. Viviana Morris. Justin Riddleberger. <laughs> Kayla Rocco. Mary Ann Catherine Rutzler.
Tyler Sears. <laughs> Navea Smith. <laughs> Ali e. Turner. Aiden Wood. And Noha Yossi. All right, I hope your hands aren't too sore because another big round of applause for our 18 under 18 inaugural class. All right, and just a heads up to all of you, keep an eye out over the upcoming weeks. We're gonna have all of our winners on a couple of billboards all throughout the Delmarva Peninsula. So if you guys didn't like seeing your faces up here, I don't know if you're gonna like it on a billboard, but you'll be out for everyone to see. So again, a big congratulations to all of you. You guys are doing such great work. Keep it up. You are our future. The success of our community lies in your hands. So thank you all again for everything you're doing. At this time, we invite all of you to enjoy the dessert. Also explore the gallery walk. Again, talk to these kids, see what they're doing, see these great accomplishments. I mean, it's things that I can't do now. I definitely couldn't do when I was 13 years old. Um, so again, make sure that you check out the tables here. This is a fantastic opportunity for everyone to mingle, connect, make some great connections, and of course, celebrate our wonderful youth. Uh, really quickly, I just wanna thank our sponsors again for this evening, uh, the Nathan Foundation, Hebron Savings Bank, Truist, Piedmont Airlines, iHeartMedia, and Pac-14. We'd be nothing without, without our sponsors. And again, I wanna thank all of you for coming out for our inaugural 18 under 18. Hopefully we'll see a lot of you back here next year. But again, thank you, enjoy, and good night.